Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Crafting with Danny. I'm Danielle and today I just wanted to show you how to make these little gift tags um, using scraps basically. I was looking through my scraps box which I'm sure you've all got and this is my scrap box <laughs> with lots and lots and lots of scraps. So. I think it's about time I um, used some of it up. So I came up with the tag idea using the better than email stamp set. This one says sharing creativity and inspiration one card at a time and then the Stampin' Up logo and this one is love is in the details. Um, but yeah there's many sentiments on here and if you were selling any of the products that you make this is the st one of the stamp sets that you would need with the logo. So I just thought I'd share with you these tags that I've made. So to get started, I've stamped uh, my stamping ahead of time, <clears throat> just to make the video a little bit shorter, but you're going to need a piece of cardstock. This is crumb cake and it measures two by four inches. And we are going to use the banner punch, triple banner punch for this. I'll just pop that there. So that's two by four inches. Then you'll want a piece of whisper white, and that is one and a half by three and three quarter inches. A piece of DSP, and that measures one and three quarter inches by two and a half inches. And then all of this is scraps. And then just two pieces coordinating. You can have them whichever way. And this piece measures. 2 eighths by 3 and 3 quarters, sorry, 3 eighths by 3 and 3 quarters, and this piece is 2 eighths by 3 and 3 quarters, and I'm just going to line that up. It doesn't, the length of it doesn't really matter as long as it fits across your piece like that. So as long as it's long enough, it'll be fine. And all I've done with it, I'll put that on there, is taking the 2 inch and that goes straight into your punch, like that. The widest one is two inches, and punch. And then the next one up is an inch and a half. So you just place that all the way through. And if you look at the back, you can see it's there. And then the smallest one is an inch, if you wanted to do it in three. And then you get these little scrap pieces. I will get rid of them. Just have a quick drink of my coffee. So that's it for the banner punch. And then basically we're just going to layer everything up. This is going to go slightly off to the side. And this one will go slightly across to the other side. Just angling so both corners hit like that. And then this piece will go, just cover that piece there, across there. And then you'll have your little flower on there. So I'm just going to get my glue and we'll get layering that up. So you could use sticky strip for this if you want to. So just getting all the angles but just slightly off. Just make sure that's on. Like that. And then the next one will go on the opposite side. That one will just go off this side. Just make sure I've got that on, like that. And then we're just going to This is just the opposite side to that DSP, which is really good, really, that you can change it because all the colours coordinate with each other. So. And you're just going to run that along there, just to leave a little border like that. 
and then we'll glue that and put that underneath. So just so that it hits this DSP line here, we're just going to run it across there like that. And then you'll turn it over and just trim off the edges. And then you've got that. And then for your flour, I'm just going to take my sponge and the back of my paper piercer and just press in like that. Just press in, just to give that a bit of lift. Um, and then we want a sticky dot. And I'm just going to stick that under there like that. And then we've got some basic jewels. Let's take my paper piercer again. And pop that in the centre. And then I've got my 1 8 inch punch. And I'm just going to punch a hole in the top. About there. Like that. And I've just got a little bit of twine. Feed that through. And then just tie a knot. Like that. Just take my little scissors. And there's your tag. So as quick and easy as that, using up lots of scraps, which is a great idea. This is Night of Navy and the Up and Away. I think it's Up and Away. It's the Celebration DSP, so you can't buy it. You have to earn it in the Celebration if you spend £45 or more will earn you the free DSP. So all details will be on my blog to these tags. Link below will be to the shop and where you can buy the stamp set and everything else that I've used in the video today. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Bye.